Hello, this is Excel, and welcome to my Relic Selection Guide. In this guide, I will be helping you answer that question, which relic should I use? To help answer this question, I've made a spreadsheet that lets you either quickly decide between two relics, or go more in-depth and find out some more exact values for your own personal character and circumstances. If you plan to use it for just the quick relic comparisons, you can go to the spreadsheet. I will be providing a link to it in the description section below. For more in-depth analysis of what is best for your character, I recommend making a copy of this sheet on your own Google Drive. We'll start with the first sheet here. So all I have listed on this first sheet are what the relic trait is, the effect that the relic trait gives you, and the approximate DPS increase in a percentage value, as well as some notes on the differences maybe between the same relic depending on different circumstances. So the easiest way to use this is just to go straight to the bottom here and you want to compare two relics. So say you want to compare a Shadow Word Pain Relic, so to the Pain, and maybe you got an upgrade, your Shadow Word Pain Relic is your old relic, a new relic dropped its Mind Blast Relic, so Mind Shattering, and let's say it was 15 item levels better. So you just put in all that. And at the bottom here, you see that your first relic is worth 1.07%. Your second relic is worth 1.44%. So the second relic is better than the first, and that's just the quickest, easiest way to tell which relic is better. Now, if all you want to do is quickly compare two relics, that's all you need to know. You can stop there. If you're a little bit curious on how this works, though, We'll go over it. So we'll start here on the second sheet. This is the personal worksheet. This is how you determine what your own personal weights are for these relics. So the first thing we'll go over is the weapon. First thing you need to know is your base intellect. You can just grab this off your character sheet. And then how much of an increase in stats um, in intellect approximately, plus you add the other stats on, a one weapon item level increase would be. So I have a little chart here, and it's not a complete chart, but it's got quite a few values. So you just subtract um, the difference between the two weapon item levels, and the stats are usually close enough where I can just add them straight onto the intellect, and it's not going to be in a, it's not going to be that inaccurate. It's still going to be pretty close. And if you can't find any values that are close to yours. I probably just recommend putting in like around 130 to 135. Should still be pretty close. For the rest of these values, they're very, very straightforward. Just open up your logs or even recount or scott our details or whatever, and just plug in how much of these are doing your damage in percentage. So for example, we'll pull up an Odin log we see that Vampiric Touch is worth 26.73% of my damage, Shadow Word and Pain 23.56, and so on and so on. And you fill that in for all of these. Creeping Shadows is just a little bit different. This one is all of your damage minus the non-shadow damage. So you would take off your Neck Enchant, you would subtract your Plague Swarm Trinket, and you would also subtract, say, a Deadly Grace or another Trinket proc if it wasn't Shadow Damage. And finally, to calculate Unleash the Shadows, we'll need a bunch of values here. So, we'll need the number of times Vampiric Touch ticked, which is available right here in your log. We'll also need the Apparitions Cast versus the Apparitions that hit, also available in your log, Apparitions Cast versus Hit. We will need the crit percentage, and you can just get this off of your character sheet. We will also need the average apparition hit, which we can find 48k. We'll need the total damage that was done, which can be found here at the bottom. And we'll need Surrender to Madness Uptime in Percentage. So to get this, just go to your buffs and Surrender to Madness, 21.67. When you've got all those numbers plugged in, it will give you a damage value 
for Unleash the Shadows, just a raw damage value. It will also give you an estimated value of how much insanity you generated. And this is based on the difference in the minimum and maximum compared to the percentage of uptime that Surrender was used. So over the course of the fight, you would have generated approximately 90 insanity. And you can use this sheet also to get a more broad perspective. So we just analyzed one fight. What we can do is we can analyze multiple fights. So if we did, say, a, a night of raiding, nine different encounters, just to get a, a much better feel, you could plug in these values, same as before. And it would change these to reflect your the DPS value for you for the relic slots. There's additional more detailed instructions below on the worksheet, but that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or thoughts on this video, please leave your feedback in the comment section below. And that's it for this guide. Thanks for watching.